There's this 100 foot horizontal crack along a rock wall at Grand Teton. It emerged recently and park officials fear it may be connected to the super volcano located nearby. A cube six miles across deep and high. And that's how much lava came out. Yellowstone has always been a very active place, attracting crowds of tourists worldwide with its impressive attractions. However, there is now an additional reason to be careful when exploring this place. If Yellowstone were to erupt at its highest known level, known as Category 8, it would be capable of causing extreme destruction in the United States of America. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku has just announced that Yellowstone will erupt in 2023, which could lead to total destruction. Moreover, Neil deGrasse Tyson believes that the Yellowstone volcano eruption has already begun. What exactly is happening? It would immediately kill about 87,000 people and render about two-thirds of the United States completely uninhabitable. Now, geologists across the globe are carefully monitoring this, as well as other volcanoes that have been erupting. Join us as we explore the current situation at Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is situated above a massive volcano known as the Yellowstone Caldera, often referred to as a supervolcano. Supervolcano is basically a name that was made up for a volcano that has at some point in the past produced the largest style of eruption. This volcano was created by enormous eruptions in the past, with the most recent major eruption occurring about 640,000 years ago. As a result of this supervolcano beneath it, the park frequently experiences various geological activities, including earthquakes, shifts in the ground, and alterations in its hot springs and geysers. Yellowstone National Park is home to a river that's not just a stunning sight, but also a key player in shaping the park's canyon and supporting a rich, diverse ecosystem. As you follow the river's course, you're treated to an array of incredible views, from towering cliffs to vast, open landscapes that take your breath away. The lower falls in the canyon are a real highlight. They flow down from a towering height of 308 feet, which is actually twice the height of the famous Niagara Falls. This gives you a sense of their enormous scale and splendor. Watching the water plunge into the canyon is a remarkable sight. The impact at the bottom sends foam and mist soaring into the air, a powerful display of nature's force and beauty. However, with the warning of Neil deGrasse Tyson in mind, this same beautiful landscape is grounds for the Yellowstone volcanic eruption on its way. Around the falls, the natural rock formations really add to the charm of the place. The rocks, always a bit wet from the waterfall's mist, are covered in vibrant green moss that stays lush all year round. It's like a fairy tale setting, with this soft greenery against the rough landscape. The Yellowstone River flows by with its foamy surface showing just how clean it is. There's also algae and moss in the water, giving it a unique green color that makes this spot even more picturesque. Another jewel in Yellowstone's crown is the Mammoth Hot Springs, an area celebrated for its distinctive geological makeup. Here, the collection of minerals, hot water, and limestone produces an amazing natural phenomenon. The hot springs, emerging from deep within the earth, carry a rich mineral load that interacts with the limestone bedrock to create a landscape that is very unique. Mammoth Hot Springs has this really cool thing happening underground. It's all about calcium carbonate dissolving from the limestone layers down there. When the hot water from the springs moves through these layers, it breaks down the calcium carbonate and carries it up to the surface. This leads to the creation of travertine, which is a kind of limestone that's left behind by the mineral-rich waters. You can see this travertine in different shapes, forming terraces and other amazing geological features that make Mammoth Hot Springs so special. These patterns and structures are like a live show of the ongoing geological changes at Yellowstone, always transforming, always fascinating. The Hare Basin in Yellowstone National Park is proof of the park's rich geothermal activity. This area is renowned for having the densest concentration of geothermal features in the entire park. When you visit, you can really feel the Earth's internal heat at work. 
The hot springs, geysers, and fumaroles are like a live show, showcasing Yellowstone's volcanic roots and the ongoing action beneath the earth. These features are more than just a draw for visitors. They're a goldmine for scientists studying how our planet's heat works. Right in the middle of Hare Basin, you'll find Hare Hall Farfour, a true geothermal wonder of Yellowstone. This spot is a perfect example of the park's lively geothermal scene. Hare Hall Farfour is famous for its mind-blowing eruptions, where you can see nature's power in full swing. These eruptions aren't just a feast for the eyes, they reveal the incredible energy bubbling under the surface of the park. Hare Hall Farfour has become a symbol of Yellowstone's wild, raw nature, a place where you can really feel the Earth's energy. A remarkable aspect of Yellowstone's geothermal features is the park's ability to predict eruptions, not only of the Hare Hall Farfour, but also of five other major hares in the basin. The skill to predict geyser eruptions in Yellowstone is a big deal in the world of geothermal science. It shows how much we've learned about monitoring and understanding these natural wonders. Getting these predictions right means we have to grasp the complex interaction between underground water systems and geothermal heat. This knowledge isn't just cool for science. It also helps keep visitors safe and gives researchers a treasure trove of data to dive into the workings of geothermal energy. The work happening in the Hare Basin is at the heart of Yellowstone's geothermal studies, helping us get a better grip on the park's larger volcanic system. The Hare Basin in Yellowstone is a hotspot of geothermal activity, with its famous Hare Hall Far Four and the knack for predicting big eruptions. It's like a living showcase of how lively and unpredictable the park's landscape can be. These features are more than just tourist attractions, they give us a peek into the deep processes inside our planet. What's behind all the geothermal action in Yellowstone? It's perched right on top of a massive volcanic hotspot. This hotspot is a column of super hot material from deep within the Earth, shooting up towards the surface. It's like a natural underground heater, powering all the geysers, hot springs, and other thermal wonders that make Yellowstone a one-of-a-kind place. The appearance of the 100-feet crack led to the park being closed off to facilitate urgent investigations. The aim was to unravel the mystery behind this sudden change in the landscape and comprehend its implications for the Teton region and the park as a whole. This phenomenon raised questions and concerns about the stability and safety of the area, prompting an in-depth analysis to determine the causes and potential risks associated with such a large-scale geological disruption. The Teton Range, famous for its wild beauty and geological importance, plays a key role in shaping Yellowstone's geology. This area is special because it combines several geological elements, like tough rocks that can withstand a lot, vertical growth, and the constant shaping by erosion. These elements make the Teton landscape really stand out. The recent discovery of a large crack in the area shows that geological changes are always happening in the Tetons, reminding us of the constantly changing nature of the park's geology. The Tetons are mostly made up of some of the hardest and most solid rocks around. This makes the mountain strong and able to stand up to breaking apart. The type of rock in the Tetons being so tough and long-lasting helps protect the mountains from wearing away. This has kept the range's dramatic appearance intact for thousands of years. Being Wyoming's youngest mountain range at less than 10 million years old, the Tetons are known for their significant vertical rise. This uplift is the reason for their striking, steep shapes. Their young age, compared to other nearby mountain ranges, is really important for understanding how Earth's tectonic plates and uplift processes work. The rock formations in the Tetons are really good at holding up against breaking down, which usually happens because of temperature changes, ice and water. This toughness helps the mountains keep their shape over a long time. However, even these strong rocks aren't totally safe from nature's forces. Over the years, the constant push and pull from temperature shifts and other environmental factors can cause cracks and splits to form. The presence of these geological changes, including the recent large crack, signifies the ongoing battle between the inherent strength of the rocks and the relentless forces of nature. The recent discovery of a massive crack in the Teton area, along with the unique geological factors of the Tetons, highlights the dynamic and unpredictable nature of Yellowstone's landscape. 
These developments not only highlight the park's geological complexity, but also raise important questions about the future of this iconic region. In the Teton area of Yellowstone, the formation of cracks in the rocks is a significant geological concern. These fissures are primarily the result of temperature forces that cause the rock particles to contract and expand. The Tetons, characterized by their dense and hard rock formations, are particularly susceptible to these temperature-related stresses. Daily and annual temperature variations result in repeated cycles of expansion and contraction, exerting immense pressure on the rock structure. Over time, this stress leads to the formation of cracks, some of which can be pretty large. These cracks are not just surface features, but are indicative of deeper structural changes within the mountains, signaling a continuous battle between the rock's inherent strength and the relentless forces of nature. Frost wedging plays a crucial role in the disintegration of rock in the Tetons. This process occurs when water seeps into the cracks of the rocks, freezes, and then expands. The expansion of the ice exerts significant force, effectively prying the rock apart. This repeated freeze-thaw cycle causes chunks of rock to break away from the mountain walls, a phenomenon known as mechanical weathering. The result is the gradual disintegration of even the hardest and most resistant rocks. Over time, these processes lead to the formation of talus slopes, which are piles of broken rock debris collect at the base of the mountains. Frost wedging is a powerful force that, over centuries, can reshape entire landscapes, contributing to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the Tetons. Avalanches and running water are significant agents in the transport of rock debris in the Teton area. Avalanches, often triggered by the accumulation of snow and ice, can carry large amounts of loose rock and debris from the mountain slopes down to the valleys below. These events leave visible marks on the landscape and play a vital role in the gravitational transport of material. Running water, particularly during spring floods, is another crucial factor in rock transport. The power of water, especially during periods of high flow, can move large quantities of rock debris, further contributing to the reshaping of the landscape. The combined action of avalanches and running water ensures that the rock fragments once dislodged from the mountain walls are continuously moved and redistributed, contributing to the ongoing geological transformation of the Teton area. The ongoing geological battle in the Teton area of Yellowstone National Park is marked by the interplay of temperature forces, frost wedging, and the transport mechanisms of avalanches and running water. These natural processes are continually at work, shaping and reshaping the landscape, reflecting this remarkable region's dynamic and ever-evolving nature. The geological activity in Yellowstone, highlighted by recent developments, points to a complex and potentially volatile underground scenario. The discovery of expanding cracks in the Teton area has become a focal point of concern. Park authorities are closely monitoring these fissures, recognizing them as indicators of the dynamic geological processes underway. The expansion of these cracks not only signifies stress within the Earth's crust, but also necessitates ongoing observation to assess their impact on the region's stability. This vigilant monitoring is essential in understanding the changes occurring beneath the surface and in predicting potential future shifts in the park's landscape. Predicting volcanic eruptions involves a sophisticated array of tools and methods, Seismographs are crucial, recording earthquakes that often indicate rising magma and the likelihood of an eruption. GPS and INSAR technologies are used to measure ground deformation, with swelling or changes in a volcano's shape signaling magma movement. Gas sensors monitor emissions like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, where changes can signal impending activity. Thermal imaging and infrared cameras detect surface temperature changes, another magma movement indicator. Additionally, geological surveys through field studies provide insights into a volcano's history and behavior. Hydrologic monitoring of water around volcanoes, including temperature and chemical changes in springs or streams, can also provide critical clues. Acoustic flow monitors detect and measure volcanic mud flows or lahars. Volcanic ash advisory centers use satellite imagery to track ash clouds, crucial for aviation safety. Finally, computer modeling and simulations using collected data produce potential volcanic behavior and assess risks. Volcano observatories integrate these various tools, continuously monitoring and analyzing volcanic activity. 
This comprehensive approach, though advanced, still faces challenges in predicting the exact timing and size of eruptions. Yellowstone Park's underground action is pretty interesting, especially with how its magma chambers get refilled. This happens when molten rock from deep within the earth moves up, filling these underground spaces, which gradually builds up pressure and heat. This process is super important because it affects the volcano's activity in the area. Scientists keep an eye on this by watching for signs like earthquakes and shifts in the ground, which help them guess when a volcano might erupt. There's always a bit of worry about a huge eruption at Yellowstone, especially with the magma chambers filling up. If the pressure inside gets too high, we could be looking at a massive eruption that throws a ton of magma into the air. The impact of something like that would be huge, not just around the park, but globally. It could change the climate, mess up flights, and harm the environment in a big way. What makes eruptions at Yellowstone particularly intense is this rock called rhyolite. It's packed with gases, so when it erupts, it's really explosive. Since there's a lot of rhyolite in the park's magma chambers, it means any volcanic activity could be pretty serious. Yellowstone is constantly buzzing with geological activity. We keep an eye on things like growing cracks and the refilling of magma chambers, all of which really show how dynamic the park is. It's super important that we understand all these geological goings-on. This knowledge helps us get ready for what might happen next and make sure the park, its visitors, and nearby areas stay safe. In the past two years, the world has witnessed a series of significant volcanic eruptions, each unique in its impact and intensity. These eruptions have ranged from explosive and catastrophic to more subdued but equally fascinating geological events. The eruption of the Tal volcano was one of the most prominent volcanic events in recent years. Situated on the island of Luzon in the Philippines, this eruption was characterized by a massive plume of ash and steam, which reached an altitude of over 14 kilometers. The eruption led to the evacuation of thousands of residents and caused significant disruption to air travel. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology raised the alert level, indicating the possibility of a hazardous explosive eruption. Indonesia's Mount Merapi, one of the world's most active volcanoes, experienced multiple eruptions throughout 2020 and 2021. These eruptions were marked by lava flows, pyroclastic flows, and ash columns, causing evacuations and concerns over air quality. The Indonesian authorities consistently monitored the volcano, as Merapi's eruptions posed significant risks to the densely populated regions surrounding it. The eruption of La Soufriere on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent in April 2021 was a major crisis. The volcano explosively erupted, sending ash plumes high into the atmosphere and covering the island in ash. This eruption led to the evacuation of approximately 20,000 people and caused widespread disruption across the island. It was the first explosive eruption of La Soufriere since 1979. The eruption of the Cumbre Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma marked the first volcanic activity in the area in 50 years, in September 2021. It created spectacular lava fountains, flows, and ash clouds. The eruption caused significant property damage, including the destruction of homes, and led to thousands of evacuations. Its lava flows also created new land masses as they reached the ocean. The eruption of Mount Nairagongo in the Democratic Republic of Congo in May 2021 was particularly dangerous due to the speed at which the lava flowed and its proximity to densely populated areas. The eruption led to the evacuation of the city of Goma, home to nearly two million people. It was a stark reminder of the deadly potential of volcanic eruptions in populated areas. These volcanic events highlight the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of Earth's geology. They demonstrate the need for continuous monitoring and preparedness, especially in regions with active volcanic threats. The urgency of monitoring and understanding these activities cannot be overstated. How will these natural forces shape the future of Yellowstone? And what can we learn from this powerful intersection of geology and ecology in one of Earth's most extraordinary landscapes? Thanks for exploring with us on Beyond Discovery. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.